Hello, welcome to today's edition of Pegasus Test. On today's edition, we're going to cover the HESCO Zombie Three Gun Invitational, the Meadow Stage. Now, this stage was deceptively simple. You walk out, and there's a garden swing there. You know, nice lounger garden swing. You know, you could sit there with your wife, your girlfriend, and you know, swing on it and enjoy the very pretty view. But the problem was there was half a dozen zombie targets. And what I mean, there was half a dozen mini ipsic swingers set up from about roughly 75 to 300 yards ish. Those are estimates on my part, don't hold me to them. And all you had to do was with your 100 second par time, get six hits, one on each target. That's all you had to do. The problem was, like I said, way easy, uh, looked way easier than it actually was. Um, go ahead and take a look at what I did and then I'll explain what my plan was versus what actually happened. I didn't think about it. Yeah, you had an idea. Oh, but I didn't have to. Oh, yeah. oh well. I threw this yesterday, but it was raining yesterday. All six engaged. All All right, there you have it, my exceedingly short run. My intention on this stage was, once again, being near the end of the firing order, I was helping with the scorekeeping and such. And one of the things I noticed as people cycled through the stage was there was a lot of random chance to the hits. That skill was helping, but luck was a bigger factor. I watched some very good shooters get one or two targets. I watched some shooters that didn't perform well on other stages do better than the good shooters on this stage. I noticed there was no rhyme or reason to what targets uh, were getting hit, and it seemed even the weird thing that people would usually go from near to far. And as they did that, they were uh, missing the close ones but hitting the far ones and then when they try to re-engage the close ones they'd miss them again. Very strange. That's why I say luck was probably more a factor here. My intention on this stage was with a hundred second part time and watch that just about everybody was parring out and according to the RO the only person that completed the stage did it with one second to spare that I would engage the farthest target first and work my way to the nearest target. That way I'd put a couple shots on each one and work my way in. That way I'd engaged all the targets. I couldn't get fixated on a target and get n nailed with a bunch of FTEs which was happening to a lot of people. So that was my plan. And then reality hit. The buzzer went off and I sat down, I took my first two shots and I had a malfunction. Now here's where perception versus reality starts to deviate. In my perception, it took forever, like eight years for me to clear that freaking malfunction. To the people watching me, I cleared it lickety split. People were complimenting me afterwards. Um, but in my mind that I had just taken all this time, so once I got the stoppage reduced, got the gun back up and functioning, I just aimed at each target, pow, 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 pow. And when I engaged the closest one, I figured this buzz it's go buzzer's going off any second now. And I was just like, all targets engaged, and just stopped what I did. And hopefully I got in under the buzzer. And I got this very strange look from the RO, then said okay, and showed me the timer. And only 26.74 seconds had elapsed. In my mind, days had gone by uh, trying to fix that uh, stoppage. And I didn't realize that I had a whole lot more time to carry out my plan than I thought I did. I thought I was just lucky enough to get my shots off before the buzzer went off. And I was completely wrong there. Now it turns out a lot of people were not happy with this stage and I guess they had a very low success rate. At this point, even at the end of the match, all I know is only one person completed it and I saw two people get to five. And apparently that was a pretty rare occurrence too. So the uh, match director decided to throw this stage out. And I'm very, very happy that they did that uh, because each miss that you had was 10 seconds. So I missed six times, 60 seconds, plus my score of 2674 means my overall time was 8674, which was a faster time than the guy who got it 99 seconds and getting all his targets. And that's not right. That's just flat out not right. It's gaming. It was within the rules, 
but you know it's it's not right so I'm glad that stage got thrown out I feel sorry for the gentleman who did uh, managed to get all six targets in because that probably didn't help his overall score because that would have been a very good stage for him but it's also not good that I get this unfair advantage just because I gamed it not intentionally but I still gamed it we hope you found this edition of Pegasus Test helpful and informative Please comment, like, and subscribe, and tune in for more coverage of the HESCO Zombie Invitational 3-Gun 2020.